You're watching Let's Chat. I'm not one of these people that says, I've lost my sweet tooth or I don't like anything sweet. Quite the contrary. I've got a heck of a sweet tooth and one of the best thing to satisfy that is a delicious cookie. Where do you get one of those? How about Chattanooga cookie? Megan McLean is here and Megan is the driving force behind Chattanooga cookie. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thanks for having us back. All right. So since you were last here a few weeks ago, tell us what's new. Yes. Okay. So we last month we did a friendly cookie baking bracket. Right. And we brought back all of our popular feature flavors and our s'mores cookie won out. And so s'mores is actually a feature flavor for the month of April. I've included it here front and center for you guys to look at. And we're partnering it with a pastel M&M springtime cookie. Wow. So you just sit around thinking of these really cool cookie recipes and then you get in the kitchen and, and work. It yes. It's a lot of work. And this is what you come up with. Yes, it's a tough job, so you've got to do it. How did you get in the cookie business? What was the epiphany years ago that went off in your head that went, I'm going to get into the cookie business. Yes. Okay. So actually, my husband and I both have experience at a dessert franchise out of Nashville. So we, when it comes to process procedure, we can build a brand. My sister is a great at-home baker. She had some recipes that she had developed. So we decided to bring everybody together, do a fun family business. And she moved here for a year, helped us set everything up to get going. And she's now back in our hometown doing her cookie thing. Wow. Yes. Very nice. And I'm glad to see that you were doing an admirable job, even though your sister left. And it was your twin sister, right? Yes. That's got to be a little harder when you put that extra distance in between a twin, I would think, especially when you've been doing blood, sweat, and tears to get this business up and running. Yes, but it is 2023, so we are constantly connected. Right. FaceTime, video, phones, all of those things. All right, tell us some of the flavors of cookies that you have yes. brought today. Yes, so we brought a little bit of everything. I've tried to include a variety out here in front, but these are some of our most popular. So I like this one. I don't s'mores. even know what this is. It's That's their s'mores. s'mores. That figures. This is the winner of the competition, so you are in good company. All right. And the, this is our most popular. This is peanut butter white chocolate. And we brought our classic three chip chocolate chip. We also have sugar cookies, snickerdoodles, a bunch of, we, we call it modern twists on traditional classics. Right. Does the menu change periodically every few weeks or every month or whenever you get the while yes. here to change it or what? Yes. So we have six staples and those are really, like I said, the classics. We've got the chocolate chip, the snickerdoodle. We always have those. The two feature flavors tend to follow like the vibe of the season. So that's going to be more like pumpkin pie in September or like uh, peppermint in December. And so those two flavors rotate out every month. This next question may sound kind of stupid, but what goes into making a key quality delicious cookie consistently? Yes process because I am a process girl right. so you have to have your recipes written down and exact um, but then also basically the we always have this saying in the kitchen to punch it up so it's like you have an idea for a cookie you do some research you do some testing everything tastes great and then how do you punch it up you add a bit more of this you add a bit more of that and so we have a great team that we do our recipe development with they do all of our baking myself included we're in the kitchen every day and it just once you do it for a little bit you kind of have an idea of i can tweak it this way i can do this and that's going to make it even better and it's just uh it's kind of a constant process but when you get really used to last time you were here you all were talking about one of the really cool things about your business is you have so many repeat customers. Yes. How does that, as a business person, scratch your back when you get the same people coming in two, three times a week or more? Yeah. Oh, it's great. Well, and, and I mentioned this last time, but they really are our good friends at this point. And so they get to come, we get updated on their lives and they get updated on the happenings in the cookie store. But that is uh, Chattanooga. I mean, Chattanooga loves yeah. a small business. Chattanooga supports small business. And so I would expect nothing less, but we really appreciate it. And they're able to find us not only at the store, but we're like, we partner with several different locations. And so they can find us all around. You were reading my question. Do oh. we have to go to the store to be able to get the cookies or are they available outside of your store? Outside of the store. So we actually were less than a year old, but we're really excited and lucky to have partnered with so many what we consider to be like iconic Chattanooga brands. Like who? So we, if you have friends and family visiting downtown, we're in the Weston and the Marriott downtown, those hotels. Right. Um, we are in the Beak Caffeinated coffee shops and even the Tennessee Valley Railroad, which is really exciting. Yeah. And then something that we, this is a recent announcement, uh, we 
we are actually in the Lookouts baseball stadium this oh, wow. season. And their season actually starts tomorrow. So yeah. we just want to encourage everybody to go enjoy some baseball and grab a cookie while you're there. That's going to keep you busy, yes. busier, and that's a good thing for you, right? Very busy, yes. Megan McLean, thanks so much for joining us. Tell us where the store is located and yes. where we can find you on the web for more information. We are on Cherokee Boulevard. The address is 20 Cherokee Boulevard. If you need landmarks like me, we are next to Starbucks. We're down the street from the Market Street Bridge. We've got uh, cardboard hill right behind us so that's the area that we're in and you can find us online we're on at the chattanooga cookie.com all of our socials are at the chattanooga cookie facebook instagram tiktok sounds good megan thanks so awesome. much for joining us we'll see you back here in a few weeks thank you we'll see you on the other side of this commercial break